everyone welcome back to succulents by vani my video today is about this unique and beautiful plant called euphorbia mammillaris variegated or its common name is indian corn cup i'm going to show you how i propagate them how i water them and also how i repot this plant if you are new to me though my friends please please subscribe to my channel because this really means a lot for me also you can um, share this video to anyone who you think would like to watch it don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any question comment comment down below thank you very much and let's get started so my friends this is the final look of my indian corn cob after being transferred in this video, of course, I'm going to show you how I transfer them, how I take care of them, watering, and also I will show you how to propagate them. Stay tuned. Here they are before they were transferred. They are packed in this plastic pot together with other kinds of succulents, as you can see. And actually, when I first bought them, they looked like this. This is my granddaughter holding them back then. Now I'm going to remove them from this old planter. So slowly I'm using this soil scoop to loosen up and carefully with my hand I'm pulling them like this. Since this plant is not yet forming roots bound, it is not difficult to take them out. Now it's time to replant. First we need cactus soil, any kind of cactus soil. I'm using this one. So I put the soil to this planter till almost to the top. Why? Because later on the soil will drop down and we really want to have enough soil to accommodate the growing corn cob, right? Next, I'm making a shallow hole like this. To make it easier, I'm just removing some of the soils like this. Then slowly I'll place the corn cob plants on the top. Then Cover them up with the soils. Just make sure that all the roots are covered. Since this plant grew sideways, I'd like to keep it that way. In this case, I will use pine cones. And by the way, I use pine cones with my succulents for many good reasons. So this time, I'm using them to hold the plants so they'll stay in place and store sturdy like what you can see here what i'm gonna do next is optional meaning you can do it or you can also skip it i'm using it anyways just to show you how i do it so i'll put fertilizers on the top mix them a little bit like this then after that i cover the top soil with rocks just like this of course, you can use any kinds of rocks of your choice. Next, this is how I watered them. I'll set the water hose in misting style and just water them slowly like this. Since I'm using this pot that doesn't have a very good hole drainage, I have to be cautious of watering this plant Remember, succulents don't like to sit in the wet soil for long periods of time. Therefore, I will only water enough, not too much, and I normally do it once a week. Bottom line here is, do not water your succulents until the top 2 or 3 inches soils are dry. Next few clips are the corn cobs plants I propagated from cuttings. They were all came from the same plant. That was the plant I just transferred earlier. And of course, at the end of this video, I'll show you how I propagated them. So, as you can see, here they are. They're all growing happy and healthy. I'd like to add here also is that all of these plants started with one single cutting. So like I said earlier, this is really the mother of all. 
Now I'm going to show you how to propagate them from cutting. So this is how I get it. With my fingers, I'll just hold it like this, twist it a few times, and ta-da, here it is. See the white sap? Best thing to do is wait for a few days till the sap dries up and the end is cut. After a week now, I'm ready to plant. So, as you can see here, I have this little plastic planter with cactus soil in it. And the planter has a very good drainage. See the holes? This is how it's supposed to be. Then I take the scab cutting, punch it like this, about 3 4 inches deep. Very easy, my friends. And to make sure the plant will stand straight up, not wobbly. Next, I'm adding a little bit of fertilizer, just like this, to make sure the plant will get enough nutrition. So my friends, this is it about propagating or planting Indian corn cob with cuttings. Very simple, isn't it? Alright my friends, this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye now.